Just like yell into your mic for like 20 seconds. Are you on speaker? Oh shit, you're right. I'm a moron. Uh, are you uh, fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing way too much Shadow of War. Oh yeah, you're still on that. Yeah, it's Shadow of Mordor, but better. Ah, uh, right. Uh, I don't know, you never played Shadow of Mordor, did you? Nah. Did you Not ever see it? because I didn't want it? to. I just, uh, um, no, I just never got around to it. Did you ever see gameplay or anything? Yeah, because I saw you play it. Yeah, it's basically the same concept, but you actually get to take over, uh, like, whole, almost countries. Sweet. So it's like Breath of the Wild, but, like, grittier? Uh, yeah, I would have made that comparison, but it's more... I think there's more of a story and, like, aim in... Breath of the Wild. Fair enough. Because currently I've done absolutely nothing for the actual story. In Breath of and the Wild or Mordor? In both, to oh, be right. honest. But, like, in Zelda you have the shrines. Yeah. Whereas in this it's not really shrines, it's literally just mindlessly walking around. Killing orcs. Sweet. And I've spent probably at least 10 hours doing that, which is shameful. So, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When you say it has more of a story than Breath of the Wild. No, no, Breath of the Wild has more of a story. Oh, right, I was gonna say, because. Breath of the Wild has some of, like, the coolest storytelling. No, like, yeah. Because I've told it's... you my, my, my story about Breath of the Wild when I first started playing it. Um, so, like, I got lost. As you would expect, I have zero sense of direction. So, you know when you go to Kakariko? Like, first thing. Uh, uh, yeah. And she tells you, hey, go and fuck these giant things. Uh... So by the time I'd got there, I'd found two of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had, like, I'd seen them. I tried to get to the desert, but died immediately. Because uh, it was really hot, and I just died. And then accidentally stumbled upon the elephant. And the cutscene played, so I'd killed the elephant before they'd even told me what it was. Yeah. Um, I also went the wrong way round to to the lady in the lab you know you have to go to that lab straight away no uh, and it's like a straight shot from Kakariko to this like other village I, I don't remember what it's called uh, the science lab and that yeah that one I accidentally found so I have no idea when it's actually meant to be oh yeah I like, climbed found. a fucking mountain almost died and ended up at the back of the town. So you're supposed to come in the front entrance and just like walk in. I ended up basically in the ocean. Because I'm an idiot. Um, uh, yeah, and the game was just like, yeah, cool, whatever. Uh, yeah, you, so can, like, you can do whatever. Like, just kill all of the bosses and Ganon without going to Kakariko. So uh, yeah. I went to... I was like halfway through the game before I realized you're that guy who extends your uh, inventory slots. Nope, never found him. Yeah, he's on the way to Kakariko Village. <laughs> so, like, yeah. You know when you go Honestly. from the plateau to Kakariko? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, that's where you find him. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I did stop playing Breath of the Wild quite early on. Because I really hated having like four four slots. Yeah. Maybe six. 
dude. I, I don't had, know like, how many you start with. Like that. I loved it. I was just like, it was so cool. I really liked it because it was just like kill enemies with whatever the fuck you've got. Uh, no, it was. Uh, there was a there was a bit in uh, a really cool film that I saw in film studies called um, uh, Hero. I think it's called Hero. It's got Jet Li in it. Um, and like the best line is uh, basically like spoilers for Hero, right? Dude like goes around and like uh, pretends to kill a bunch of badass super dynasty warrior people. Um, so yeah. he can get near the Emperor who's taking over. Um, because he's like a perfect, he has a perfect move that is like an insta death for anyone who gets hit by it. But it only works within like 20 meters or something. And because he's, you know, not stupid, he doesn't let anyone within 20 meters of him. The Emperor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he goes in with all of like the weapons of the people he's murdered and he's like, it tells the story. That's the movie basically, it's him telling the story to the Emperor of how he killed them. And then when he gets within 20 meters, the Emperor's like, oh shit, uh, you've been, uh, you've been bullshitting me, haven't you? The whole time he's like, yeah, dude, I'm here to come kill you. Uh, and he was like, most badass line. Emperor goes, how do you plan on killing me without a weapon? And he just looks up and goes, by taking yours. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just like, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. That was just basically how I felt playing Breath of the Wild. I mean, yeah, it's a good Just you beat the crap stuff. out of people, and before they're even dead, you just take their shit. Because they drop the, their stuff, don't they? If you I hit them hard like, enough, they drop their weapons. <laughs> I quite like and the you just collecting. Steal them. Uh, I so like what? collecting aspect. Oh yeah, that's pretty neat. You can Where store I'm like, weapons. Oh, I've got this really cool looking sword. I don't want to break. Oh, a Lionel. Oh, yeah, Lionel's are cool. Oh, they destroy weapons. Yeah. So fast. That is true. But it's. I and really just like because that. I had. I had like two slots, or sorry, however many slots. So it would wipe out like half my weapons. It was it was yeah. horrible. Yeah, Lionels are, are resource killers, but like their weapon destroys things. Oh yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Oh but... totally. How did we get battlefield? This isn't battlefield. This is like half battlefield. Look, there's no top one. Uh, it's baby think... battlefield. No, it's yeah, small battlefield. Oh god, oh, bad luck. <laughs> oh, I was trying so hard to aim that. <laughs> well, GG. So, uh, I went to the gym for the uh, first time in... since they closed. When was that? March? Uh, Months. Oh, I, I don't even It's know. been a shit ton of time. Um, yeah, at least two months. Yeah, so uh, a while. Um, dude, I didn't realize how much I missed it until I went back. Uh, so I was like, oh, oh this is nice. Uh, it immediately got cut down the next day when I was aching. Oh, yeah. Just so much. Like, more than when I first started going to the gym. Uh, it was just really... ridiculous, dude. Like, my... I've never really been to the gym. Oh, yeah. So when you like first start, you get kind of like dropped into it, and it's a bit of a shock to the system. So like y you you do kind of have a low tolerance for that. No, like uh, I, I don't I... know. I think you'd be alright because you're quite active anyway. I had a PT for a bit. Yeah. And, like, I did the session and just ended up injuring my back. Right. So I never went back. Fair enough. 
I I basically only go outside for sport. So yeah, it's like what I'm saying is um I don't know, maybe you'd be okay. Like I'm um, shocked to the system wise. Like I hadn't done any exercise for a really long time when I first started going to the gym again. Um Yeah, no, it it hurts like a bitch. Oh no no! Like there's a but, there's a whole kind of like oh shit I may pass out. Oh yeah, that element. that's when I lift weights. Oh right yeah okay. Running and shit. My that's body's fine, yeah. used to that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Speaking of that, I haven't run in about three four months. It's good weather for it, bro. I can't. Stand it. Like what, outside. I, yeah, I walked outside and it feels like my skin's burning. <laughs> okay. Is it that sunny where you are? Uh, no, it's just hot. Oh yeah, it is pretty warm. Yo, uh, I don't know what been... it is. What but it's day like... was it last week? It was like Monday or some shit? Where it was just ridiculous. Well, I live in one of the sunniest places. No, yeah, I, I, I know. Uh, but it was like ridiculous where I was. Uh, where it was one of those things that if you go outside, it just hits you. Like Yeah, when you yeah. walk outside, the, as it, it's soon as genuinely the sun like hits punching you in the skin, face. It's like, oh fuck. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there was that, and I was—it's the kind of heat where you're like, "Oh man, I genuinely feel sorry for every chicken I put in the oven." Like, I, I'm, yeah, I'm so sorry. It's, <clears throat> it's, it's kind of like that. We, it's just there's no clouds. It's no, straight uh, there's nothing. Sun, uh, and that just feels like it burns me yeah like the wind doesn't even help the wind makes it worse and you're like the f how because oh, it's just no, blowing hot see, air at you the wind is really nice here because it's the oh, sea, breeze. sea breeze yeah but oh my god like anywhere that isn't seaside the buildings yeah. just stop them and it makes me cry Yeah, uh, apparently it's going to carry on. Isn't there a heat wave coming? I thought it was this week. Oh, is it this week or next week? I forget. I don't even know what fucking day it is, dude. Oh, mum's coming down to visit me Friday. That means you're going to have to sit outside. Any particular reason why? Why what? What, did she just feel like it... What, why she's coming down? Yeah. Oh, no, it's mum. So she just told me, oh, yeah, I'm coming down. Okay. Yeah. That that was my input. I, I mean, that's where we probably get it from. What? Our general impulsiveness, like, I guess we're doing this today. No, that isn't impulsive. I mean, I'm... No, as in, like, we're doing this. Because... That's pretty... Yeah. It, it's not impulsive, because she planned it in, like, a month. I was going to say that. Oh, did she actually plan it? Oh, because the way I'd do that is just be like, yo, you free tomorrow, because, like, I'm going to be there. Yeah, no, that's fine. But she basically just sent me a message saying, oh, yeah, I'm coming down on the 7th. Wow. <laughs> okay. She didn't even ask. Rude. No, no, she didn't ask. <laughs> she just went, okay, I'm coming down to see you. Just like okay, no, I'll clear my schedule. It's, it's... <laughs> yeah, it's like wow. Yeah. <laughs> like there was no question. It. Mum's always done that though. Yeah. That that is very true. 
you do have like a low tolerance for the sun like uh, that I, is something it's horrible yeah like i i'm not a big fan of like the heat especially like that will kill me but like the interesting thing is like we don't burn like i, I don't remember oh, I, ever getting I did. sunburn i did when uh like two years ago all right well if, there's a sentence in general when was the last time you had sunburn two years ago <laughs> I, I would like to say that it was an extreme level of stupidity. What, did you just go swimming and spend the entire day outside or some shit? No, no, it was at Blues Fest. Ah. Uh, which yeah, I was which camping is at. Outdoors all day for a weekend, isn't it? Yeah. And like, by the end of the second day, I was starting to peel. Ouch. But that's me thinking I couldn't burn, so not wearing sun cream. Yeah. That and is something in, that we like we never did really like learn. Thirty degrees Oof. and clear skies, so it's like one hundred percent my fault. Yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. I can't help you but, on that one bro. <laughs> just for the record. We can burn. Yes. I, I don't recommend. No, no. But because we are so averse to sun, we don't really spend too much time in it. And we don't burn that easily. So it's like, we, uh, we don't burst into flames as soon as we walk out the door. Nah. No. Like, I, I can spend a day outside and not burn. Like, it's an extreme amount of time in the sun yes. like it took I think around 18 hours of me in the sun before I started to feel burnt yeah so like this is the thing where I was like because uh, I remember so as I don't well I don't remember as when I was a child but I remember when you were a kid uh, it used to be the typical English kid like just c based him in sunblock uh, so he's like three shades whiter than he already is. Uh, I can't say I remember that. Uh, yeah, no, I do. You used to be a very slimy child <laughs> when you were outside. Uh, it was that much sunblock that was just like kind of slathered on. I yeah, didn't Mum used to like cover you? Yeah, she used to put some on before leaving and then more at the beach and every like hour hour and a half yeah reapply like yeah you, you just you could yeah. like slip and slide on concrete just w without anything else um but you like when you got a bit older like you just they you know what I mean? Like, you're not a kid anymore. Okay, sort yourself out. If you need sunblock, just here it is. And then you never used it and was never burnt. So all the time, like, when we were not, well, I guess kids, I guess. But younger, like, still on holiday and stuff. Where we used to spend all day outside and it was just fine. You just just come back with, like, the sickest tan. Yeah, I still tan quite easily, which is odd. Uh, yeah, I, I have to say, like, I'm pretty jealous of that, because you, you tan really easily, but don't burn. Like, it's... Oh, like, in general, like, 20 seconds yeah. in the sun, you've already got a dope-ass tan. Yeah, like I was going to say, I, um, walked Super outside. Super easy, yeah like a week ago like walked to the shops and back came back took my socks off and just saw a tan line yeah I, that's mad to me because like i don't it's necessarily dumb. burn that often i mean i don't spend 18 hours in the sun but like i haven't been burned in i don't remember the last time i had sunburn no like it's not easy Oh no, yeah, burn. but like, I don't tan either. 
Like, I could, if I spend all day outside, like, for a week, I might get, like, super mild tan. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. Like, it's never gotten to the point of yours. Like, yours is quite... Do you know when you see, like, bodybuilders where they have the, the super ultra-perfect tan? They, it's obviously fake tan, but, like... Yeah, you know I mean? where they put the bronzer on. Yeah, like, sure. that's you yeah. when you tan, and it's bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said that's I, the most kind of like, mm-hmm, I do not care. <laughs> there's not really much I can say to that. No, it's, no, I just, yeah, wanna... yeah, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you why. There's no reason. No, I'm just saying, like, if, if you wanted to brag about that to people, I mean, I love it. I'll back you up, because that is 100% legit brag. It's one of the great things that when a girl starts complaining, she's like, Oh, I have to spend in ages in the sun to get tan, and I'm just going to get burnt. Just like, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I've cool. been here five minutes. <laughs> If I walk outside and say hi to anyone, I'll be tanned. It's great. <laughs> yeah, you like basically look permanently like you've just come back from holiday. Yeah, I... I don't understand why I'm so much darker than you. Yeah, that is I quite I also have the curly hair. Say what? I have curly hair as well. Uh, yeah, that is true. Uh, I guess you got more of dad than I did. <clears throat> yeah, but I thought my tanning ability would have come from mother. No, uh, cause, cause I never seen her with a tan. She doesn't. She doesn't tan. She just burns. She's exactly like every everyone else I've ever met. She walks outside and burns. Yeah, but I assume if you add that to Dad's no burn, I don't. Yeah, it would equal tan. Um, there's also I don't go outside. Uh, so like I constantly look pretty pale. Like our yeah, version but... of pale. Which is in general pretty fucking. We normal. do live. Oh in... yeah, in England, where the sun comes out for like tw two weeks. It, yeah, I was gonna say the sun is rare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hence why we spent like what the first twenty minutes talking about the fucking weather. I mean, it is probably more than twenty minutes. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm titling this. This is gonna be the weather episode. It's... yeah. I, I did try walking outside today, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've only just realised I've got music playing. Yeah, I always have music playing. Because I, I told you, like, yesterday... No, not yesterday. Last time we recorded, whenever the fuck that was. Like, before we start. Oh. I'm gonna fuck that up. Um. The, just playing in silence, like, is super dead. Uh, I mean, normally that's what I do. I kind of have smash background noise. But I have noise cancelling headphones. So I can't yeah. hit Smash. No, yeah, same. So that's why I've got. I'm currently, I'm listening to um, uh, Final Fantasy 15 song. Oh, it's I really it's, could... it's called Crystalline Chill, uh, and it's the most chill music ever. It's uh, the me the music that plays on the pause screen. I know you haven't played the game, but <clears throat> I mean, Final Fantasy music is normally quite good. Yes, which is kind of like one of the things that I think everyone agrees on. Like, people did not like 15. I liked it, uh, to a point. 
Um, that's why I keep asking you to play it, man. I don't have it. No, last time you were here, I was like, dude, play Final Fantasy, and you're like, eh. Yeah, I'm not going to play a game for like a day. I don't know, the last time you were here for a while. I, although, I will say, like, it is a pretty summer game, I gotta say. It seems like a game that you sit there for ages. Uh, I played it when I was uh, um, off from work, like a holiday. I had, uh, like, a month off. Because I made some bullshit and I was like, hey, uh, I'm going for a friend's wedding and I need a month off because, you know, weddings and, and all that. And it was like, nah, I'm just going to the wedding. But, so I went to his wedding and then kind of had, basically, oh, what the hell am I doing? Um, uh, a month minus a weekend off. Uh, and kind of just sat there playing it. Uh, it took me about a week to play, to finish. But, like, I mean, all I did was play. Like, I basically just got up and played the fucking game. I don't even think I've been home for a week. Oh wow, we actually timed out? Yeah, it's Hyrule. Oh, yeah. Why is it picking Hyrule? Have I got it on Hyrule instead of random? Yeah. You had to change it in the bottom corner. No, I'm still on random. Am I on Hyrule still then? Nope. Wow, is it just picking... Oh no, wait, no. Have we had uh, Hyrule twice, or is that still the first match? I don't even fucking remember. No, we've had it twice. Because Battlefield was in between. Oh, yeah, that's right. If it's Hyrule again, I'll maybe look at something. And yeah. I'll look at something. <laughs> I think you've got it on, like, preferences for the arena. Right. Because we were trying to do it... Oh yeah, that's right. Last so time. it might be set to Hyrule and Battlefield. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just Hyrule only, if I'm honest. Which is why... Possibly, I... yeah. Oh, it might have chosen you, because I don't think yours is set to... Mine's random. Yeah, but your preferences aren't set to the same. I'm... I have no control over that. Oh, right. Well... It's the arena. I'll pick a stage. Uh, you'll probably just need to arena. Alright, yeah, I'll have a look at the arena then. I mean, we could just pick fight on stuff. Hyrule. But... Yeah, cool. But you know, I think we should branch out. Ouch. So, um, have you seen any more of, uh, Ghost of... Uh... Shushima. Samurai Death, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks really good, dude. I really want to get it, but it's so expensive. Uh, 50? Yeah. Dude, do you remember the days when you could go, like, Asda and pick up, a, like, a PS2 game for 20 quid? Yeah, and the expensive ones were, like, 25. Yeah, or 30. And we were like, whoa, what the hell? 30 quid for a game? I remember the, like, pre-owned new games that you could get for, like, Fiverr. Um, From GameStation. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Man, GameStation. I remember that. That's not a thing anymore, is it? Uh, do you know what? I don't know. But I haven't been there in... It may as well not be in the thing, because like, I haven't been there in... since PS2. Yeah, I remember... I used to go to some shopping place with mum and dad that used to have a game station. Yeah, yeah, it was like... that place we went at Christmas, I won't say it, but... No. Yeah, you had no. a game station and game... Uh, two games. No. One inside, one outside. One... It was one near where you went to college. Oh shit! Like, yeah, you're right. In um, you you weren't there. No, no, yeah, yeah. It was uh, yeah. I used, I remember. You were working, and mum and dad used to drag me along. It's where uh, you used to get your haircut as well. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, that had a game station and a game, I think, as well. I think it's gone now. I haven't been there in ages, dude. Like, there's nothing there. And it's a bit of a shithole, anyway. Everywhere's a shell. True. That is one of the great mysteries. Like, why is the UK a, a tourist attraction? <laughs> like, I've been there. I've been here. Like, I am here. It's a shithole. <laughs> I mean, I think it's an experience. Is it though? Like, do you, do you remember going to London for the first time? Oh god, no. Okay, I when you went to London, like old enough when you're like to appreciate it. Uh, you say appreciate. Remember. Yeah. What did you think of it? I have never been filled with so much hatred in my life exactly yes london's a terrible place don't ever go to london it's horrible bro i i probably said this so many times but it, it still triggers me the fact that since i'm six foot if it's raining in london people hit my you with eyes the yeah. get stabbed <laughs> yeah like by business people who who look at you after stabbing you in the eye with their umbrella and, and just expect go, you to apologize they're sitting there just like why did you hit my umbrella just like <laughs> are you are you dumb <laughs> yeah. i can't see you my eye is bleeding no yeah it's it's a horrible place um everyone i've met thinks so I honestly think it's an experience. Yeah, it's an experience, like, not a good one. Yeah. Oh, the Olympics. <sighs> the people didn't know what was coming. I mean, our reaction pretty much summed it up, to be honest. No, like... like Nathan Cain, they... man, like... It, on Russell Howard's good news, he summed it up. He's like... <laughs> When we're all, we got the Olympics, and we're like, oh, for fuck's sake. No, it wasn't even that. It was um, the tourists coming over thinking, oh, yeah, this is going to be great. No. Wasn't it Streatham or something? Where what? The Olympics, where they redid. Do you know what? I don't even know. What, the Olympic was... Park or something? No. Um, like where everyone stayed they spent so much money on redoing it I don't and know it's... I thought it was a place called Streatham but yeah I know where Streatham is yeah but it, either way it was a scummy area yeah, yeah, up in there it's terrible like a horribly scummy area yeah, and yeah. They, they put shit tons of money into it and it did nothing no, then they had all, like, the tourists come over and stay there, and it's still a shithole. <laughs> but it's it's a posh shithole. <laughs> it's not. Hey, no, it's no. It's still terrible. As in, during the Olympics, when it was all brand new and shit. It was still a horrible place, but it looked really nice. Yeah, I mean, that pretty much sums up... I did not know that bomb was there. That uh, pretty much sums up, like, everywhere. Like, it looks really nice, but it's probably a terrible place to live. Hey, I'm... I don't know. Uh, maybe... I don't know. Uh, I found recently a new podcast. Um... Well, um, kind of want to talk about my podcast that I listen to um, but kind of don't because I don't want to slag them off so okay the new one I found out is really good and it's called Trash Taste um, and it's by a bunch of anime YouTubers so I was like oh hell yeah um, I think Giguk is part of it and some other ones I can't remember the name of them sorry um, but they live in Japan uh, but they all like kind of one's Australian, but like his mum's Japanese, so he knows the language like really, really well. Um, one's American, I think, 
Uh, but like also kind of Japanese parents, I think. And then one's just straight okay. up, it's just from England. Uh, and he's like, I don't speak Japanese. Uh, when I came in, I was like, this is a terrible place to live. Because uh, they're all, it's super clean. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, this is the yeah. one I was listening to, where it's, it's super clean. Like, no one litters. Uh, but they're all, like, casually racist and kind of dickish about it. I mean, in fairness. Uh, they are... So you know how, like, uh, stereotypical British people are with um, people who don't speak English? Yeah. Kind of dicks, right? Uh, yeah, Japanese people are like that, except they also won't sell you a house. So, like, you can't find anywhere to rent if they don't believe you speak Japanese. So, like, I this mean, dude was... Yeah, his story was, like... I feel bad. Like, I should probably just leave a link to it. But, like, his, uh, his story was he's, like... He's trying to find a fucking place to live, and these Japanese people are like... Nah. Go away. Uh, change the rules. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, but Japan is, like, big on culture. Um, big on their culture. Yeah, um, like, they do not like. It's understandable, though, because it? it's their country, their culture. Uh, yeah, but, like, this is why, um, Japanese netcode always sucks. I oh yeah, you're right, I had Hyrule on. Yeah, because they keep... Um, and this is why like Square and Japanese companies and all that... Um, like the fiasco with uh, Final Fantasy's... I think it's 15. It's engine. The reason it took 12 years to come out is because they were... They insisted on creating a new engine for the stupid game. When they were like, it was just just use Unreal, dude. And they're like, no, 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 we have to create a, like a their own their own engine. They use their own stuff for everything. Like they don't want to work with other people. Not other people, but you know what I mean. Like they don't want to work with non-Japanese companies. They're really, really bad for that. Yeah. Yeah. In fairness, though, they are good at what they do. Are they? I mean, if you ask anyone who's into fighting games, they will tell you that any Japanese anime fighting games netcode sucks. Oh, no, but the game itself is good. Um, well, it depends. Like, if you're trying to play competitive and your netcode is so terrible because the game's designed that way, like, it, it, yeah, it's but infuriating. Fighting games isn't online, is it? Yeah. Like, um... No, no. The competitive. Yeah. I mean, the how else do you get qualified? Compet how else do you actually get, like, practice? It's super important to play online against actual people. No, like, different like, people. You... I know that it's online. <laughs> but all of, like, the big tournaments and stuff aren't. Yeah, but the only way you get good at a game is by playing it a lot. And you have yeah, to play online. Like, there's no combos and stuff. Yeah, but you need to understand, like, oh, like we do with Smash. Like, playing against an actual person is way more um, teaching. -y. Yeah. But at this at this point, we're basically computers to each other. No, that's yeah, that's the point. Like, you play a lot of people, and you start to like recognize the patterns and stuff like that. Like, you remember when you told me how you played a Link online once Hello. and you utterly destroyed him? Uh... Um, do you hear a beeping? Okay, yeah, I, I was saying something about... Oh yeah, you destroyed a Link player online. Um, because, like, I, if you haven't noticed, like, all I play is Link because I suck with every other character. Oh um, yeah, I've also got destroyed by a Link player since then. Oh no, yeah, I get it, but kind of, there was this one we we had quite a lot of experience, you've had quite a lot of experience dealing with a Link. 
Yeah, but that was the Cindy days. Cindy day. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Who Cinder? Yeah. So like the reeds were uh, yeah, reflected. Yeah, Cindy is quite a good matchup for long here. It's the reflex were unreal. Yeah. Plus the speed, dude. Like he'd pull a bomb out, and I knew when he was throwing it. Oh yeah. And reflecting bombs and shit. It was. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. So if you do that online a lot, you kind of get a feel for when things are gonna happen. Um, just like player reading and stuff like that. In general. The only way you learn that is by actually like playing online, like people basically, and the way you do that is through online. And if your netcode is terrible, I'm speaking like I know what fucking netcode is. <laughs> like I, I, I'm not really too familiar, but I know it kind of dictates uh, how good your online experience is. <clears throat> so like frame rate drops and things like that. Which, yeah. Uh, but yeah, a, a lot of the the super kind of competitive fighting games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat things like that are like Japanese games that they just don't want to use other net codes. So they're basically the, that guy who just wants to do everything himself. Yeah. I didn't know Street Fighter had that big of a deal, but... Uh, that's why I heard about it. I think it was Street Network Fighter. Issues. Yeah, there's a guy who I'm, I watch on YouTube called Maximilian Dude. Um, uh, and he's... He says he's not very good at, at fighting games, but, like... He's pretty fucking dope. Uh, I, I think he's quite good at competitive but he's not kind of like top 10 if that makes sense I think that's what he was trying to say in one of his videos where he's like I'm not that good at fighting games I'm like what the fuck are you talking about dude uh, that's just because um, I'm terrible at fighting games yeah there's probably like a whole different level oh yeah dude it's kind of like pretty much everything like competitive Pokemon like we understand yeah all of the stuff that goes into competitive Pokemon, but we're, I mean, I've never been any good at it. I've never really paid attention to moves and stuff. Yeah, like move percentage hitboxes, and not hitboxes, uh, kill rates, you know what I mean? Well, like yeah, certain moves know, will like, kill at 60. How yeah, much so. is gonna do what? Yeah, I was like, fuck that. Nah. That's where I go off the bus, man. I'm like, nope. Uh, not for me. But I, I like it is pretty fun doing like strategies and stuff. Uh, I still remember my bullshit EV squad that works surprisingly well. Well, you had six EVs, didn't it? Six evolutions. Yeah. And your Sylveon, or was it Glaceon? Umbreon. No, that just Umbreon tanked. Oh, Leaf. Ah, oh, Leafion. Uh, oh, was it Leaf Blade? Uh, yeah, choice band. Leaf Blade. And uh, if it goes right, I'd be subbing in for. Depending on which team, either a Belly Drum or a lot of curses. Right. And I'd have Sunny Day up to double speed. Sweet. Like if if it set up, it wrecked. Yeah. And I had Dynamax a shiny well. Umbreon. Uh, sometimes. Uh, didn't really need to, because it yeah. takes away the Leaf Blade critical hit chance. Oh, that's true. I still like my shiny Umbreon though. Yeah, shiny Umbreon looks dope. I'm pretty sure his he had some sort of gimmick 
which involved using cursor mark and then an attack that is boosted by how many times you've increased your stats. Oh yeah, um... Oh no shit, it was the Colosseum setup. Yeah. So it was Umbreon cursing into a stored power espion. Oh shit, yeah, that would destroy things. I mean, the espion was incredibly slow. So it didn't survive long. Yeah. I mean, you could probably put like some sort of follow me togetic on. I used to have like that running with the. What are the other two? What, Eevees? Yeah, it might have been Glareon into Lepion to set up Sunny Day. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh... But either way, I had like two setups going at the same time. So one of them would work. Nice. That's when Pokemon. Sick car alarm, bro. Great, isn't it? It sounds very much like, um. Uh, Metal Gear. <laughs> uh, what is it? No. Two, when you play as Raiden. Yeah. Sons of Liberty. I yeah. don't remember if it's two or three. No, three Snake That's Eater. Two. Two. Yeah. I, I know no one's going to know this, but that was incredibly in time with my music. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't say anything. <laughs> Dude, it's so cool when stuff like that happens. Well, I've got noise cancelling headphones on, so no, it probably no, would have been loud at like, Things line up, and you're like, "Yeah, nice." It lined up perfectly with the drums and snare, or kick and snare. This stage sucks. Yeah, yeah. I don't like how it keeps closing the rooms and stuff. Like that's just a pain Who in the ass. Who are these ass. people? Oh wait. That room you're in. That dude looks smug as hell and he's dressed like Elvis. This does not add up. So, uh, have, <clears throat> have you seen anything of the uh, next gen consoles? I have not. Have you not seen anything of the new Halo? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I I'd, forget what it's called. I haven't even bothered. Uh, I always look up the Halos, man, just because, remember when Halo was good? Yeah, I've just, I have no interest in getting the consoles. Oh no, yeah, I don't give a shit about whatever the fucking Xbox called. Um, so, like, I don't see the point in looking at a game that I might want. Uh, I think... Um, don't quote me on it, but I'm not sure if Halo is going to be kept on the new box. Uh, I thought it was maybe going to be available on the PC as well. Oh, I mean, if it's on PC... I then... will Google it after this. Um, uh, I'll do it. Yeah, actually, it, please. It, 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 save everything. Yeah. Um. Because, yeah, man, Halo used to be good. Like, really good. I did really enjoy when we sat summer, maybe? Yeah. And just went through all the Halos. Yeah, it was that summer, and then... Oh, well, I fucked that up. And then we got Halo 4 in that winter as well. Yeah, we got and that. that was when it started getting crappy. Because that was the advent of the Halo playing hat. No, wait. No, yeah, actually, we must have come Halo up with that before. Halo 4 was not the first or 
No, Halo 4 was the first one we played, wasn't it? Yeah. You're right. And that started us searching CEX and Game and Game Station. Yeah, to get the, the other ones. So we played it in the best possible order, like at that time. So we got the 360 Halos. Um, uh, so we played 4, which is easily the crappiest one. And then played 1, 2, 3, Reach. No. I think it was 2... Three, reach one. I'm pretty sure we played one before three. No. Yeah. Yes, because we weren't no. confused. Oh, okay. Hang on. There was one that we struggled really hard to get, and I thought that was one. No. No, because we got all of them uh, from that really cool guy who was. Because we got one, two, three, reach. And then we were going to pick up wars, and that guy was like, yo, you know that's not a shooter. Um, don't bother. No, like, we got almost all of them, but we didn't get one. Ah, uh, that might have been Reach. No, no, we didn't get number one. Oh, right. Because I remember the one that we ended up playing, I borrowed from a friend, went to give back, and he said, no, I don't want it. Because it was placed or Xbox One, as in original Xbox. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, that probably would have been original Halo then, because that was on Xbox, wasn't it? Yeah, and if I remember correctly, it looked horrible. So yeah, which is again to like play testament it. to the game because we played that all the way through and we were like, "Yo, this is dope." <laughs> is that the one you fell asleep in? No, that was three. Because uh, there was, uh, it wasn't Arbiter. No, two maybe. Which one do you play? One as Chief, one as Arbiter. What? <laughs> oh, uh, two. Yeah, so it was three then. I uh, that was when I intermittently kept falling asleep, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I don't remember a lot. Of, so there's like a whole chunk of that game I just don't remember. Have I told the story before? No idea. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Just wait until bombs start dropping. I want to see what happens. Alright then. Well, that was quick. You said bombs start going off, so I threw a bomb at the ground. Alright. Nice. And it just didn't throw me the way I thought it would. Mm. Uh, what's it called? Halo Infinity? Maybe? Yeah, probably infinite. Ow. Boop. Yeah, you're right. It's on PC. Yeah, it's on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC Holiday 2020. Nice. Uh, I don't know if it's an online only thing. No, it's got to have a story. Oh, it does. Like, I, I saw some gameplay and there is some story there. Uh, it looks good. Like, um, genuinely, like, good. Because Halo I 4 really... was okay, but you could see, like, it was starting to slip. It was, like, the end of the pre-60, though. Oh, no, no, like, story-wise, where they're just like, okay. Um, a lot of people, like, really didn't like what happened to Cortana in 4. Um, I don't like what happened to Cortana after 4. Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say. Like, 5 basic... If, if 4 put the first nail in her coffin, 5 put the last one in. Oh, it wasn't even that. Like, I kind of like Cortana in 4. That was just because that was the first one we played. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, it was actually pretty weird. Like, it was a really nice introduction to, ouch, the character. Um, yeah, but doesn't really 
do it justice. If you no, play yeah. one to four, it would be disappointing. Yeah, like she was a lot more badass in the like, other ones. If you only play four, four's not that bad. No, but she is like basically everyone in self isolation. Just kind of bit nuts. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's still the same person, just she's having a bad day. Yeah. Several bad it's, days. <laughs> it's just after four. She's, yeah, she's after not doing four. okay. Um, but it's not, it's not even that. It's the fact that Microsoft started using her for everything. Yeah. You know, the voice command on my Windows 10 computer is Cortana. Is it her voice? No. Yeah, it's like they suddenly realise they have no properties except... Uh, yeah, Halo. and now I've just developed a hatred for Cortana. Because <laughs> there's like a button next to the start menu, which is the Cortana button. And it stops everything and just does the beep thing. Doesn't say anything, just beeps. Oh wow. That's really annoying. So I spent like the last few years of my life just saying fuck off Cortana. <laughs> Sick. So do you actually know what happens to Cortana in five? No, I know nothing about five. Alright. Oh, okay. Like literally I cannot explain how much it killed my will to play Halo. What for? Oh, Cortana. No, just Windows. Windows. <laughs> I think that's really the issue here. This Windows sucked. <laughs> no, it's, it's just... Even, even on phones, Windows phones, it's just like... You have to talk to Cortana. I, I hate it. It took away from Halo. Yeah, it I it was kind of weird. Like uh, when Google did, was it Google? Or is it just Android that did Siri? Apple. Apple, sorry. Fuck. I really should have known that. Um Siri doesn't have any kind of like meaning. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it was just a fucking name. Uh, a really yeah. uncommon name that like no one almost no one is called so like you wouldn't accidentally just yell at people like if I you called it Richard feeling you know Siri I mean? might have actually been an acronym even better it seems like an Apple thing to have it as an acronym uh, yeah either way it was kind of like you can't just call it Dave because you know, you'd have a thousand people answering you or when you call said person, everyone's phone goes off. Yeah. Um, that's why Amazon called it Alexa, not Alex. Because very few people are named Alexa, a lot of people are called Alex. Uh, I'm guessing. That's all you have to say, hey Alexa. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, you have to say, like, something. I don't fucking know. Um. And then Google, it just basically one up to even more, and just with the, yo, Google. Hey, Google, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, fuck it, just say our brand name. You know what I mean? Like, it felt like Microsoft did that thing that games sometimes do that you should never do. Um, where they, like, feel like they had to justify everything no i'm pretty sure it was do you know because like that's the this is the story behind uh the camera in mario 64 uh do you know it's the the guy the cloud guy in in mario kart who comes down and holds the lights for you yeah uh like that's the opening scene where he comes down and he holds the camera behind you because they thought like that you had to justify having a camera there I mean, uh, yeah, that's that's a cool gimmick, though. Well, then they immediately dropped it for Ocarina of Time, because they just kind of realised, it's like, yeah, it's cool, but like you really just don't need to do that. 
No, no, it, I just think it's a cool Mario thing. Um, because I mean, in Mario, they kind of explain everything the way it works. Well, well yeah, how one of the first works. kind of proper 3D uh, Marios. It was the yeah, first 3D Mario. It's just like, um, I'm a big fan of the way that the same cloud guy comes down and holds the Go yeah. sign on Mario Kart. Lakitu, I, I think his name is. I was more trying to think of the word for the racing lights. Oh, yeah, I don't fucking know what they're called. In the traffic light thing. Yeah, those things. Yeah, like, it's a cool Mario thing, but, like, the reason that you have that whole opening cutscene thing, this is a cool stage. Bayonetta. Yeah. Um, and it got worse. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I quite like that, actually. That's pretty neat. I'm not a fan of the color change. Oh, uh, I was talking about the platforms. Oh yeah, I don't really care about them. Oh right. Um Yeah, I guess. I okay, yeah, like the perspective's the... just gone a bit fucked and every now and then you see something that's not great. It's like, like a, a green screen atmosphere. effect. Do you know what I mean? Like where you can see like it's very much a background. Yeah, it also looks like the wind should affect you. Uh yeah. You know, off the stage, like here. Yeah, also... And it stopped, but... Yeah. It's like, um... It's fine for a game, but if this were, like, a film or something, it'd be one of those things that probably wouldn't age very well. See, Although I do this... like how they, like, the effect oh. they've got from, like, background to foreground. When the platforms come in, because you see them coming in, and they're not yeah. jumpable until they get... To a sample. You know you can do that in Stage Builder. No, oh, yeah, I know. It's just a really cool effect, though. It's probably closest to... What was that? Boat Stage. Boat Stage. In Wind Waker? Millie. Mm. No, the flying yes. boat. Yeah, no, I wonder. Really? I, I was gonna say because that one was actually pretty cool. The oh, rainbow bridge-looking motherfucker one. Yeah, yeah. It was a pain in the ass, but it was it was cool. Like it was a fun time. It's still in the game, I think. Yeah, I'll find it next time. Actually, I want to play that one. Uh, please, please don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's as good as it was in Millie. Yeah. Or was it even in Millie? Yeah, it was in Millie, definitely. Millie was fucking lightning in a ball, dude. Um, I don't remember too much of it. We played it like a fuck ton. Um, yeah, I was like five. Shit, really? I thought you were older than that. There's six years between us. Yeah. I don't know when Millie came out, but we didn't get it when it came out. No, but Brawl was like when I was a teenager. Probably. Brawl was on the Wii, right? And the first... I remember the first games we got on Wii. Um, I, uh, mum and dad bought us one each, and you got Pokemon, because we were pretty, um, lax with ownership, shall we say? Uh, it, because it, it was like, yeah, technically that's your game, but, like, no one really cared, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have my Xbox. No, 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 yeah. And, like, didn't you have my PS2 for a bit? You've never had a PS2. Uh, yeah, I've got that silver one. 
that we oh. go in a charity shop for a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, no, you can't claim that as yours. Uh, that okay. was, mum tried to give it to me and I was just like, I have a PS2. <laughs> and I was like, I'll have it. Yeah, and then my PS2 broke. <laughs> yes, yes it did. It... Uh, but yeah, like, it, it was basically like, it, it was like technically, yeah, we were each getting a game, but it was like, no, we... we're just getting two games. Yeah, we had, like, all of the consoles in one room, basically. Yeah, and... and... We play them together, so there was no real competition, yeah. should we say. Which is weird, because I was talking about it with, like, other people who have siblings, and they were, like, super territorial over their shit. Uh, yeah. Like, we especially when it came to games, they were like, that's my game, you can't have it. <laughs> and we were like, nah, it's cool, whatever. Yeah, I think... Uh, uh, the only thing like, we were like that with is probably Pokemon. We never really argued, though. I know, we argued all the time, just not over overship. No, like, our arguments still go on to this day, but it's never been <laughs> Someone like... ate my apple pie. I'm not going to say who. I wait. Okay, <laughs> wait. <laughs> if we're going to bring this story up again, I will say my defense <laughs> again. The intent was there. But you stopped me before I got to eat it. Yeah, no, 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 no. You can't, you can't give me that. That's not defence. You can't be on trial for like murder or something and be like, no, no, no. It's only attempted murder. That's better. No, no. I'm no. saying you. I didn't eat your apple pie. <laughs> your statement is wrong. <laughs> that. <laughs> it's conclusive. I tried to eat your apple pie. <laughs> and worst of all This is such a stupid like, argument <laughs> Mother Took like a quarter of that Oh no yeah Like if we're gonna argue I got that crap shit for it. She fucked it <laughs> uh, Yeah I didn't Alright whatever <laughs> I finally win <laughs> no, no, no! I, like you're still, I'm still gonna bring it up periodically. Just, just yeah, that's fine. But just know you're wrong. I'm not wrong. Like you just said, you would have eaten my apple pie. So you know, I, I tried to eat it, <laughs> but I didn't eat it. <laughs> Edit your statement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you stole my apple pie. How's that? No, again, I tried. Exactly, you stole it, and in order no, I, to, like, take a num-num. I didn't take it. You were in the room before I cut it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, that's attempted. Like, There's no such thing as was... attempted theft. There's just theft and, like, not trying to steal someone. No, it's someone's it's apple pie. I touched your apple pie. That, that was it. Yeah, like, the still, you said it. it like that's okay. That's still not okay. I didn't eat it. <laughs> yeah, but if I'd, like, come round and, and just, like, touched all your food. There was I a still wouldn't make it okay thing like, to do. Like, it's the equivalent of me walking into a room and moving a packet of crisps. That's still incredibly annoying. Please don't do that. I don't even know if I can eat apple pie anymore. That's sad. <sighs> yeah, I know, right? I, oh. I know I can't have anything that I used to have with the apple pie. Can you not have custard? Nah, it's super... I think they put some milk powder in it. I mean, I could... No, I've made Ooh. custard before. That's loaded with milk. Oh, I thought it was mainly egg for some reason. I mean, there's a lot of eggs in there, yes, but... Oh no, you're right. I don't think it might just be... No, I'm pretty sure there's milk in there too. I mean, there probably would be, but... Yeah. 
Um. Well, since we're on the topic, can you think of anything else that used to be good and now kind of sucks? Uh, no, Who. but I, I did find a, um, a chart for Fredo prices. Oh, oh, is this just going to make me depressed and sad? Oh, bro, yeah. Because I remember, like, Freddo's used to be 10p, right? Uh, no, I think it was, like, 5, 7, 10, 15, 17, 20, 25. I think they're, like, 50 now. Shit, really? Maybe. Damn, I'll, I'll bro. get the chart up. I remember, um... The screen cap. Alright, like in year 7? So I don't know when that fucking was. Like early 2000, well... Early 2000s, I guess. Um... 2002? Okay. Maybe 2008. No. Yeah, that's when I left, isn't it? Yeah, my 2000... school login was 08. Right, yeah. So and there's 6 years difference. Yeah, so 2-ish. Two or one. Yeah, we used to, um, like in year seven, uh, me and my friends used to keep all of the change, like, that fell on the floor. So, like, the occasional, like, two peas and pennies and shit. Yeah. And then, like, end of year, just go on this massive spending spree at, like, the. This is when, before Jamie Oliver fucked it up and you could buy things in the cafeteria. That was a weird word. The... I never had that canteen yeah well you used to be able to like buy packs of polos and things like that um yeah and if we had a good week it used to be like well friday is gonna be a good day we used to just get donuts and shit uh and yeah. then we 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 were genuine geniuses uh because so to put the plan in action because there was a month where we did really well but we didn't want to waste our break time. So we joined the chess club. Because for some reason we all knew how to play chess. But like we weren't any good. Um, but we joined it because the teacher would let us sit in the room. Uh, so we had a place to eat with chairs. And she let us skip the line because we didn't want to waste chess club. So we used to be able to go in, buy all of the shit. And then, like, never play chess. We just sat there eating donuts. Yeah. I don't know how. I so so we got to skip the line. There was something when I was in school. Like a prefect or something? Sure. But whatever it was, it took up your break and lunch time. And I think... Oh no, I managed to bullshit the... not the bitchy music teacher, the other one. They were both bitches? No, when I was there, there was a different one. Oh, right. He was a dude. Oh. Yeah, I, I was talking to him, and he was just like, Oh yeah, I can write letters to can let you skip the queue if you want. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so I'd, I'd used to walk in every day just like, oh, I've got to do this for this teacher. He's written me a note. Can I get my food? They're like, yeah, cool. And I'd just skip the line, get my food, and leave. <laughs> That's so cool. It's the wonders of being able to play an instrument. Yeah. If I had known that was with it, like, I would have told the teachers earlier. Actually, no, they hated uh, me. They wouldn't no, have it, it wasn't those teachers. He was a dude who was... What I imagine a young dad would be. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Like, he wasn't... too far out of uni. Oh, right, yeah. So his aspect of caring wasn't very much. <laughs> yeah, because he very shortly was a teenager. Yeah, and he spends most of his days listening to kids hit the DJ button. Oh, oh my god. So having someone walk up and just go, oh, 
that's a C chord, and he's just like, oh. You can play music, you win. It's, it's more, not that I was good, it was, I didn't, or I wasn't so bad that he had to bang his head against me. <laughs> oh, that is the worst. Because not only are you, like, super young, so you, you basically every teenager is arrogant as hell. But, like, it's also the most annoying sound in the fucking world. I remember... I'm going to see if I can find a, a sound clip of it and just put it here. DJ! Because... Oh, it's it, horrible. It, yeah, it's the worst. And... You used to be able to get it to say dee 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 if you hit the key repeatedly. Yeah. Yeah. And and everyone did that and then let it play. So it was like dee 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 oh, And everyone thought they were the shit. I couldn't stand it. The worst thing is like it's not good quality. No, because they were like you could... super dead. Like super dead public speakers, school. But... Yeah, keyboards. They do used to do it like full volume as well. Yeah, because they thought they were badass. So it just made it sound worse. Yeah, uh, it, it was genuinely horrible. It was worse for you, because you actually knew vaguely how to play music. Like, I did not. Yeah. So... I don't know if I ever told you the story. Like, because I started playing guitar, like, last year of high school. Right? Yeah. And so by the end of that year, I could play... I think we talked about this. I could play, like... Um, I was learning Stairway, right? Yeah. So... People used to come up to me who didn't play any guitar or any musical instrument that I, like, knew. It's like, friends-ish. Do you know what I mean? Like, people you know of that you vaguely talk to. Oh, I, I had no job. Um, yeah. They used to come up to me, see me with the guitar, like, playing it, and then, like tell me how to tune it or see me sitting there tuning a guitar and they'd be like oh no that's not how you tune a guitar uh, I'd be like how would you know you don't play guitar either and they're like no 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 that's not how you tune a guitar or they'd tell me how to play guitar yeah I can I, I didn't really get that no I got it I still get it <clears throat> every time I go in a guitar shop uh, everyone, I don't know if it's just something about me. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing, but I always get like um, lessons on how I should hold the pick that I don't have. Because you know I don't oh, carry no. a pick around with me. Like, uh, I like get it's... it. I get it in like random places, but I just kind of accept it because I assume they know more than me. It's interesting. Because I, I do, I get it all the time, but it's very obviously like really bad advice. Um, like, I think the worst one that made my friends cringe. Uh, so this is while I was at uni doing a music degree. Uh, my friends were with me, we were buying acoustic guitars. Um, this is the only guitar I've ever bought myself, and I've since sold it because it was I hated it. Uh, I saw, I sold it to dad uh, and he was like, he insisted on paying for it and I was like, I really don't want money for it and he's like, no, 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 I've got to give you something for it so I was like, okay, buy me a DS <laughs> and, and that's how we, uh, that's how we both got DS's because he was like, uh, it's worth, it's worth more than one DS so I got you, um, uh, two, wasn't it, because I got the wrong one. So you got a 2 yeah. this out of it that broke for some reason. Yeah, I'm Do you, still Did you ever find sure. out why? I always assumed that there was like a heat sensor or something. Yeah. So, so like, what happened to it was he, he kind of left it on just in his room. Uh, like, we were going to go to sleep. Like, I was. I was just like, okay, nap time. Um... And then all of a sudden he's like, hey, uh, did you touch my DS? And I was like, no, uh, me go sleep now. It's nap time, what are you talking about? And he's like, the screen's just cracked in half. And like, Jenny was. The screen was super fucked. Yeah, like, it looked like someone had punched it. 
Yeah. And I, I'm still really confused. Yes, it was but like this super weird. I continue to tell myself that it was just my room was too hot, and I, I probably left it on or something, and it overheated and cracked. That, that was the only thing I could come up with. Yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> You know what? I bought a new screen for it. Yeah. And I genuinely can't fix it either. Wow. Uh, the screws are fucked. Oh. So you can't undo it. Like, I have a screen. Oh, do you think it needs, like, a special screwdriver? I have three different sets. Of Nintendo official screwdrivers made for two DSs. None of them. Wow. Like somehow the head of the screws are just broken. Oh. They're not like in shape. So the screwdriver kind of just slips out. Wow. It's disappointing. Yeah, man. Uh, I forgot what we were talking about. Uh, you sold a guitar for a DS. Oh yeah, before that though, because... Uh, there was uh, a point to that story and I've completely forgotten what it is. School guitar. Oh yeah, people keep teaching. It was like genuinely terrible advice. Because the dude told me to strum at the 12th fret. Because you get a better sound out of it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Because I was like, I don't think that's right. <laughs> I mean, I tried it, and it sounded exactly how I thought it was going to sound. So the the further up the towards the um, the headstock you strum, like the softer the sound. But as a general rule, strumming halfway up the fretboard probably, like, genuinely, is not a good idea. I, it's kind of diminishing returns at that point. You're not going to get any softer. Um, yeah. Yeah, my friends are cringing in the background because they're like, "Don't, don't do that. You, please don't do that, Chris." Uh yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I I don't get that often because people don't like talking. You do have a very much a uh, please don't talk to me face. Uh, it's not even that. It's when I used to get people at school come up to me and try and play something. I'm the type of person who will just throw a guitar at you. Yes. And say make music. <laughs> I'm just one of those people you talk to then regret it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd recommend customer service. Like DMV. Go work at the DMV. What, the true hatred of people? Yeah. Let my talent shine through. <laughs> It'd be fantastic. I think that should be on all government jobs. Do you despise people? <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> Just have like a hatred level. <laughs> Background check and must consent to hatred level measurements. On a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> How much do you hate people? It's over 9,000! I do not regret that joke one bit. Okay, maybe quite a lot. I mean, I'm not going to cut it out, but I set out a 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I saw an opportunity to make the over 9,000 joke, and I've never gotten that opportunity before. Because, I mean, uh, let's, let's face it, like, I am not a numbers guy. 
Uh, so no one comes to be with numbers. You say that like I would be. Uh, you were quite good at maths. I, I mean, I can kind of add up. Yeah, I, not so much. I remember the Yu-Gi-Oh days. Yeah, that was. I was the calculator. Be. Man, I miss Yu-Gi-Oh, like old school Yu-Gi-Oh. The like before we used to play the synchros were okay. Uh, now it's just gone nuts. Yeah. Have you seen it recently? Like I do, I know of Link monsters. I don't know how they work. No, actually, I watched a video. I can't remember who put it up. I think it's like Team APS. APS yeah. Or something. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it's, I watched them too. <laughs> it's like new Yu-Gi-Oh versus old. Oh yeah. And just that. It's just like oh. I have a blue eyes, that, that's a good card. Oh. Yeah, and it's just they, immediately outclassed. You didn't even play the blue eyes. Or, no, what was it? Like, oh yeah, I want to build a blue eyes deck. Okay, take this, 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 this. When do you summon blue eyes? Never! <laughs> <laughs> you just discard it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, alright. I think that kind of thing... Like, new Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know why I put that weird pause in there. Um, fits... Uh, Duel Links better. Just with oh. the, the kind of quick style play, like, it makes way more sense. Did I tell you about my Luster deck? Uh, you've mentioned it before. Oh, I I saved the replay that was literally the prime of what I wanted it to be. Send it to me and I'll put it in. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, I'll probably speed it up and put some... Oh, I have to send it, it, like, via the... Yeah, whatever. But basically, I end up summoning a luster three times and literally just using straight bullshit to survive his attacks. <laughs> yeah, luster got a massive upgrade. It, it was already pretty overpowered to be honest. No, no, like... No, Luster as uh, an archetype. Oh, no, no, I mean like... Holy crap. When I used to sit there, just like, oh, three Black Luster soldiers. In the first turn. <laughs> yeah. I think it honestly pales in comparison. God damn. If you do it... Or if it goes like perfectly, yeah. you can have a black cluster soldier that can banish two monsters on the field. One oh, the card in the, the hand. Thing? No, that's like beginning night and the other one. Oh shit! Oh yeah, it can also attack twice. <laughs> what? Um, and if you have envoy of chaos as well, you can discard that and your lusting. Gain 1,500, and That's... whoever it attacks uses its original points. What? Do you know what that is? Like, that's that's a Yu-Gi-Oh abridged uh, joke. It's like, let me use this effect that I've just this second made up. Guess <laughs> <laughs> uh, what exactly uh, what it sounds like. It's like, no, 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 you can't beat it because now it suddenly has just a billion attack points. Cause no, like you'll see it in the video I sent uh, a point. They have a 4,500 monster. And I have a luster with 1,500. 
<laughs> and it ends up that they both die. It's like it's it's great. Yeah. I mean, the levels of bullshit in in Duel Links are just off the scale anyway. Oh yeah. Like, I can't. I I don't know that much about Yu-Gi-Oh, especially competitive. But like, it's never been the most balanced game. Uh, no, there's always metas. Yeah, no, a few years ago there was that deck that was banned because it was just uh, so broken it won like 99% of its jewels. Yeah. Uh, just because it was so consistent, like you could just basically search anything you wanted. You could just basically just pick up your deck and go, I'm playing this now. Um, and it was just legal. Yeah. Like, it was just ridiculous. I don't remember the uh, the deck's name, though. Uh, yeah. I'll Google it's it and put it in later, maybe. Crazy cards. Yeah. I think, like, if we ever did win the lottery... Um, oh, yeah, like, as soon as I get money, I'm buying, like... Oh, yeah, like, of... that's... I think some people have it, some people don't, but, like, I think I'd fall, like, super hard into card games. Um, I wouldn't want to play in the card games, I'd get into, like, the collecting side. Uh, you no, know, because... I'd get super into, like, strategy. No, uh, when like, I was Magic young, the Gathering, I'd probably be super into. When I was young, I just didn't take care of the cards. You did not. Gadling Sky Terror is a fucking mess, and it's It's it not a card anymore. Off. But, I I'd really want to be able to do, like, the pack opening things, have one of those folders, Oh yeah, dude! I still have those. You still yeah, have your like I want cards, one. Don't you? They're in like a bag, like literally a bag. Oh, I've still got my old folder from when I was small. Yeah, I never got one. No, because you missed out on Pokemon. No, you totally had one, because we both had one. No, yours wasn't like the first movie one. It was just one that we, because we each got one. Uh, yours was like a, a folder that we put in pink Pokemon wrapping paper. Oh no, yeah, I do remember that. Um, I had two, because I had a Pokemon first movie one, and the same one you had, a pink one. Um, I still have both somewhere. I don't know where the pink one is, um, but I don't know where the other one is. I don't think yeah, they're worth it, that much. Like, I didn't have any super ultra mega hyper rare cards. No, I oh, don't no, think actually, I do. About I have Shining Raichu. Future me, put I a did... picture of the Shining dude. I used to I have did... a Shining Noctowl as well, but I traded it as a kid, and I've regretted it ever since. I just really wanted, like... I don't feel I was old enough to understand pack openings when I was younger. How so? Like, I don't remember the days of buying like a pack from a shop, going home and opening it. My only memories of Yu-Gi-Oh is like the mess of cards we had. Oh and yeah, trying to search them. for ones we had. And the boxes deck, yeah. and stuff. Like, I didn't remember the Gatling Sky Terror thing. Like I remember you that. told me, yeah, that that's the only reason I know about it. No, I remember it because. Um, yeah. Go on. Why do you think I remember? Because you gave me the pack and you were pissed that I got Gatling Sky. Yeah, because uh, uh, mum and dad got me a few packs for my birthday, and you got like super grumpy because you didn't get any. So I was like, I right, here you go, have one. <laughs> you got this super rare card in it. And I was like, well, fuck. Yeah, that is. This is fun. what I get for being nice. Never do that. Yeah, honestly, like, don't. Yeah, what I did and that like, card just is... the state of that card now is. It's uh... genuinely, like, peeling apart. Yeah. I'm not even sure it's on the card anymore, dude. I, I doubt it. Which, uh. Minor fine. 
I still have my Duel Masters cards, like, too. They're totally fine. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, which but is I... weird, because, like, I don't really take care of anything else. Well, like, pretty much everything else I have is broken. I never had sleeves or anything. Uh, no, you did. We both no, had sleeves. I... No, I stole yours. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you, so you did have sleeves. Oh no, actually, give yourself some credit. You did take care of your ultimate dragon. My ultimate dragon? You had a blue eyes, three headed ultimate dragon thing. The fusion one. Oh, that's. that's fucked. <laughs> it never came out of the packet you bought it in. Yeah, but do you not remember the dual disc? Oh, did it permanently bend everything? <laughs> Yeah, because it wasn't big enough to fit fucking cards. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> See, you know, it, so you bought it as a singular card, and it it's in, came in like a plastic wallet. And I remember you just like never take it out because you didn't want to ruin it. I didn't and buy then it. Managed to ruin it anyway. Did I? Huh? I thought it was part of like a pack. I don't know, but it, it came in its own little. Um... Yeah, it's it's still in that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's also still in the dual disc. I'll have a look, because I reckon that's in pretty decent shape. You might be able to get something it's for that. It's bent, but other than other that, than it's that. Fine. I really want. I just. I would love to be able to buy, like, a new version of the old deck I had with the fucking bullshit black clusters and everything. The change of hearts. Oh yeah. Screw the rules. <laughs> yeah, I think we had an agreement where it was just like, we make our own ban list, and nothing was on it. <laughs> nothing was banned, but we had the limitations of what cards we had. Yeah, like you weren't allowed more than four copies of any card. Yeah, that's the actual rules, I think. Yeah, that was it. Um, I think that was the only like rule we had yeah we completely ignored the um uh trap slash spell card or turn order if that makes sense yeah like we didn't go standby phrase my main phase uh yeah that and we also didn't chaining. do yeah chains so like you can't activate just random traps to kill random traps so like it would be like I'd activate magic cylinders and then you'd be like, no, I've got a thing that, that rebounds the magic cylinder rebound on you. And oh, bro. I'd do a thing. I, I did, like, I found a video that explained what Wabaku actually does. Oh shit, yeah, what does that do? Nothing to do with what it says on the card. So yeah, like we used it as you just don't take damage that turn. Yeah, yeah. No. What does it actually do? <laughs> Apparently there's some sort of... Well, I'll Google it afterwards, but okay. it's... it's uh, as far as I remember, it doesn't stop an attack or anything. I don't think it actually reduces damage to zero. I think okay. it does something to the monster. Oh, okay. Like, I saw the video that was explaining it and just went, what the fuck? <laughs> so what is it? I remember it had zero on the card, so like something gets turned to zero. They changed the card, like, oh. in every edition it's been released. Is that because it's just broken or did they just not get it right? I, Apparently, according to the guy that I watched the video of, they've never put a card that actually explains what it does. Sick. <laughs> oh, an enchanted javelin doesn't stop an attack. Um, wait, what? So, you know when you use enchanted javelin? Yeah, it adds the amount of life points to... It adds the life points and doesn't stop the attack. So you just end up with the same amount of life points you had. No, you gain the difference. Gain the oh, difference. Oh yeah, 
if if it's a direct attack, then you just Take nothing, nothing happens. Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see. So if it's a monster, you just if it's oh, a monster, right. then you gain however much attack it had. I fucked up. Yeah. Oh, but that's lame. I mean, okay, no, actually, that's that's pretty not broken. Our version was very broken. Yeah. Huh. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. What? I don't know how to spell Wabaku. Oh. <laughs> um... I think we said it how it was spelt on the card, so just phonetically spell it and it should come up. Because let's face it, we mispronounced everything. I, I'll take full responsibility for this one. So in Colosseum, you yep, massage Colosseum. Pokemon with Cologne, but I was a moron and he was too small to read. Uh, so I, we, up until like what? Two years ago, when we played the game again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were pronouncing it as just going, like, uh, collagen. Collagen case, and you, you use the language collagen. But no, it's cologne. <laughs> yep. I never read that word, I just said it as collagen. Yeah, yeah. I read the word and said, yeah, that's collagen. So, Wabaku. Wabaku. You take no battle damage from your opponent's monster this turn. Your monster cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. That sounds pretty dope. Yeah. I think that's the newest release of the card. I mean, that actually sounds more broken than the version we had. Uh, this one doesn't take damage from effects. So magic cylinders and stuff. Yeah, but we never treated magic cylinders as an effect. We always treat it as an attack. No, no, I know that, but I wouldn't be able to do it for stuff like that. Oh, right. I mean... Y you never could, technically. It used to be just reduce all damage to zero. Yeah. It didn't used to specify from monster. Oh, I see. Yeah, I like or our battle damage. Ah, oh, spirit tracks. Oh, yeah. How was that game? I don't remember. Cool. I remember, I remember spending like... a lot of time on it. Yeah, that's also what I remember. And it had the same aesthetic as Wind Waker and stuff. Was it a direct sequel or? Yeah. Oh, it was. It was uh, that, then Phantom Tracks? Phantom Hourglass. Yeah. I don't remember which one came first, because one was set on an ocean and one you had a train. Because it was the ghost ship, wasn't it? Phantom no, oh, wow. Phantom Hourglass had the ghost ship in it. One of them had the uh, ghost ship in it. Uh, and it kidnapped uh, Tetra. I'm Petra, pretty sure Phantom was. Hourglass was still on a train. Okay, cool. But yeah. Yeah. Oh. I have no idea which came first. Neat. They weren't bad games. No, uh, the DS had some pretty decent Zelda games, I gotta say. Oh, you should try and find Minish Cap. Oh, yeah. I don't have a Game Boy. I do. Somewhere. I think my old DS can play it. Like, not the 3DS, the, I yeah, yeah, the old the original. Oh no, did I break that? No. Oh no, I... It's falling apart. But... Yeah, I had a... One of the hinges has come off of the screen. But it's not completely dead. Yeah. I have the gold one somewhere. Yeah. The one I got with Minish Cap. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And we got the limp cable with four swords. Yeah, which we only uh, use for Wind Waker. 
and Pokemon. Oh yeah, Colosseum. Yeah, uh, I remember trading in Four Swords. Because uh, I thought it was crap. I don't remember playing it. Yeah, I think we were too small to get over the fact. Because we just finished playing like Wind Waker and shit. Uh, and we were like, this looks crap. This is all like 2D and stuff. I don't like it. Let's go back to Pokemon. So, randomly with Zelda, mm. we haven't played all of the timelines, have we? Oh shit, nah. You want to get into the Zelda timelines? I, right, I'm down. Um, no, no, like, I, it's just I've been watching videos, and I know it goes Skyward three. Sword. Yeah. So Ma Skyward. No, oh, hang not on. Majora's Mask. Uh, pause. Pause. Pause the convo. My battery is dead. Okay, we're back. So, uh, oh, you're talking wait. about. I I wasn't holding my controller, but cool. Oh, sorry. You're talking about Zelda timelines. Yeah, I was just wondering what we've actually played. So because it, yeah, it goes Skyward Sword, which I played. Yeah, I play Skyward Sword. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've seen I, all. I Skyward hated Sword, Skyward but... Sword because I'm left-handed, uh, and so it made Link, because uh, the sword follows you. It made Link walk around like a fucking moron because he held his left hand over his right hand. Sorry, um, his right hand, his sword hand, was over his left side. So he used to hold it in front of his shield all the time and just make him look like a fucking idiot. Um, I got to the final boss. I like final finishing blow. It was like, finish him. And that's where I quit the game. <laughs> I was like, no, fuck it. Destroy the world, bro. This this is done. I didn't think you got to the final boss. Yeah, yeah I got to Dennis' final form. Infernape form. Um, I swear you didn't. Yeah, I did. You have to kill him with the lightning bolts. Uh, and, like, I got to the lightning bolts. You have to charge up your skyward slash of stupidity. I thought you stopped at Graham. No, no, I killed Graham, because fuck that guy. No, it was the beginning of that mission, where no, you have to do I, the I horde battle. Yeah, I did it. Got to Graham, uh, found out he was pointless and stupid. Um, <clears throat> that game looked beautiful, but it was fucking shit show. Um... Because you remember it took us seven centuries to complete because the uh, Wii Motion Plus just didn't fucking work. Yeah, I ended up getting a controller with it built in. And it still wasn't great. Oh no, it was fine. Oh uh, no, for you, because you were right handed. Mine no, I mean, you never anything. played it. <clears throat> oh, right, yeah, I mean, it wasn't game breaking. Like, it, the controller wasn't game-breaking. It just had trouble picking up things from the wrong direction. No, no, as in, like, you never played it with the good one. Yeah, I did. That's how I finished didn't. it. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost certain you gave up and refused to play it again. No, no, I gave up when when the, like, add-ons stopped working. And then when you got the other controller and you'd finished it, I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. Because you yeah. remember we used to take turns in being first form Graham in 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, on the like boss rush thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, we could. We were down to counting like milliseconds on this absolute melt. Yeah, that was disappointing. Yeah, anyway. So we played Sky with Sword. Yes. I, I had Minish Cap, I never finished it. Yeah, so you played Minish Cap. Uh, Four Swords is next. Uh, we played like a tiny bit of that, but we were too young to really appreciate it. Yeah, then Ocarina. Uh, which I never which... finished. I obviously didn't finish it. Um, okay. I kind of want And then that's that. where the timeline splits, right? Yeah, so... The one we played is 
triumphant hero triumphant hero adult era what one's that uh wind waker right yeah okay and then we also played a little bit of majora's mask uh, wait, just, we'll go through that timeline first. So that's a different one. That's where, like, it's... no. Yes. Victorious, but child era. Uh, bruh. Yeah. Sweet. Just, shh. Oh, sorry. Adult timeline. Uh, triumph adult timeline is Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks. Right. Which is, I've played all of them. Okay. Yeah. And then Breath of the Wild, I think, but... Yeah, no one's quite uh, sure where Breath of the Wild goes. It's at the end, but no one knows. Yeah, because uh, they mention the Twilight Princess, don't they? Yeah, they mention everything. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's like, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, yeah, then the child era. Wait, wait, the wait hang on. Uh, I'll get back to the start screen here. And I'll put the timeline up, so we can just talk over it for a bit. Because this requires big brain. Because yeah, the Zelda okay. timeline's messed up as fuck. Yeah, either way, this might be the last thing we talk about, because I'm hungry. Alright, fair enough. I haven't eaten. Right. Um. Yeah. So, the child era, the triumph... Sorry, Triumph Child Era. Right. Is the one where he beats Ganon. And gets then Zelda sent back sends in time. Him. Yeah. So it's the hero of time that's in these. He's ones. a munchkin, yeah. Yeah. So Majora's Mask, then Twilight Princess, then Four Swords. Yeah. Oh, then Four Swords. Four Swords Adventure, not original Four Swords. Oh, okay. Two different games. Oh, that's the DS one, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Uh, then the defeated one, A Link to the Past, never played. Link's Awakening, never played. Oracle of Ages, never no. heard of. No. Nope. Link Between Worlds, Triforce Heroes. Uh, why? Wait, oh, here, this is the hero Zelda. defeated timeline. Yeah. Isn't that the Wind Waker one? Because the gods drown no. the world. No. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you're right. I'm looking at the goddamn timeline. Okay, this is really confusing now. So Link dies, he gets eaten by Pig Ganon. Probably. <sighs> okay, so the splits. Right. Um, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. When Link dies, that's when Pig Ganon stays Pig Ganon. Right. But he, like, he's, he's basically won the world's a hellscape. Yeah. What game comes after that? A Link to the Past. I don't know shit about A Link to the Past. Like, we what actually we didn't play any of these. Oh, right. So there's a whole timeline we know nothing about. Yeah, that's why I started this whole conversation. Right. I thought you were talking about the other timeline. No, I just went through them all because I wanted to see which ones we actually played. Oh, right. We only played the versions where Link won. Oh. Wait, so there's one that just has Twilight Princess in, in it. Twilight Princess is the child era. And that's the George Mars Twilight Princess. Yeah. And that's it? Wind Waker is the adult era where he wins. Uh, yeah, then fucks off. Because he becomes yeah. a munchkin again. He gets sent back in time so there isn't a hero in yeah. that timeline anymore. <laughs> Ganon rocks up and he's like, yo, I'm not dead. For some reason. Man, yeah. don't include time travel in shit. Just... Jesus. Whoa, is he dead? Or is he just defeated? Defeated. 
Oh, so you may not be dead. You're probably dead. You're probably but dead. Everyone bringing car names. Yeah. Because was it Dennis is... Uh, Ganondorf. Dennis is the original. Yeah. Um, that's why they're in the... That's why Link, Zelda and Gary all get the Triforce. Isn't it? No. Like, every time they reincarnate, they always get it. Or some shit like that. No. I, I have no idea how that works. Because didn't Dennis sure... say some shit like he's like, uh, no matter how many times I will reincarnate and I will get this uh, all of yeah, three the, again. The Triforce wasn't a thing. Yeah, it was. Not in Skyward Sword. Yeah. No. Yeah, because you go through that Triforce puzzle and it creates the Master Sword for you. That's nothing to do with the Triforce. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Like that's why Zelda had to like fuck off and was sleeping in a crystal for decades. No, you have to awaken the Master Sword. You never get the Triforce. Uh, I thought that was the whole thing because Zelda was like descended from gods, and a god made herself human because she needed to use the Triforce, and gods can't use it. But I don't remember what she needed the Triforce for. Oh, it was to wish Dennis out of existence. I don't think you actually ever used the Triforce. I thought she was just like, yo. No, you never get it. I know it's a thing, though. I'm pretty sure it's a thing. I thought it was made after. Um... No, because I thought the whole deal with that was like, Link's just some random fucking dude. Um, as fucking usual. Uh, Dennis is, I don't know, King of Evil. And Zelda is, like, what's her name? Hylalia? Like, the actual goddess, but no. she made herself human because she couldn't kill Dennis. Uh, so she made herself human so she can use the Triforce to fuck him up. Or some shit like that. So I remember there was that whole big explanation and and Skyward Link's just looking there like, oh god, I need a fucking nap. Because um, that one looked exhausted for some bizarre reason. Um, yeah, and she was like, that's why uh, I had to go away because like uh, I needed to remember being a goddess and shit. Also, um, uh, I needed you to go and get the Master Sword and become badass and stuff, so, like, sorry about that. Uh, caused you a lot of stress there for just kind of being a bit of a douchebag. Uh, also, I'm a god. Or part god, or whatever. Uh... I mean, Skyward Sword was a bit of a mess, anyway. It did have the, uh, the coolest dungeon, though, with the time stones. I, yeah, I think the Triforce the was made after. It's saying after they made Hyrule, they made the Triforce. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Is I Zelda don't know. part goddess, or am I just... It says Hylia reincarnate. As a human. Yeah, so I assume so. Fucking why? I don't know. Oh. Why did Hylia become mortal? Stay it focused. pops up on Google for me. Oh. Hylia uh, got fucked up by Dennis. Okay. Uh, so she was like, I am... Um, hang on, let me read the whole thing. <laughs> that answered literally nothing. So the answer is, okay. Uh, she was like, she got fucked up. And uh, only managed to seal away Dennis. And she was like, that's not going to last very long. So I got a plan. It's twofold. First of all, I'm going to make the most annoying character in all of Zelda, Fee. 
uh, stick it in a, in a stick that's kind of sharp. Part two of that amazing plan is I'm going to ditch being a god and become a mortal. End of plan. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's like, how did that... That literally answered nothing. Oh, no idea. Someone's saying here the same thing I am. Um, that, like, the goddesses couldn't use the Triforce, only mortals could do so. So she became mortal so she could wish Dennis out of existence. That's my cue. Yeah. I don't really care, but... Yeah, I don't mean that... It's... It's weird to know that we haven't played, like, a whole timeline. <laughs> But, I mean, it looks like Breath of the Wild is kind of restarting the timeline anyway, so... Uh, it's an end. I mean, like, converging them all again. As you wish. Yeah, I mean, I haven't actually completed Breath of the Wild, so I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Um, but, like, I know it mentions all of them. Yeah. Because um, there's, like... First place you go is Temple of Time. Yeah. So it's like, hey, wrong timeline, bro. Can't pay in all. Each battle, a chance Temple of Time. Yeah. Uh, probably not, because didn't the world get flooded? Yeah. And then in the Hero defeated, uh, Ganon fucked the world. Yeah. And then. Is it Hero wins? You are not. Uh, but like, fucks off to be a munchkin. Ganon fucks the world again. No, that's flooded. Yep. And then the other one's Twilight. Yeah, and there's no Temple of Time in that. I mean, it's, that it was in the Temple past. Temple of Time's gone in group. all of them. Huh? That means it's gone in all of them. In all of them, but it's not. It shouldn't be there in the other timeline. What? If it's in Ocarina, like yeah, it's going to be in all of the timelines. Yeah. But I meant like, because they flooded the world, you're not going to see it. Yeah. What I was saying was, you don't see it in Twilight Princess. You do, but it's well, uh, it's where you fight the giant spider. Uh, I don't remember it then. It's where you get the Dominion Rod. Oh, yeah. Are you going uh, to like a past version of it? I like yeah. the Master Swords just chilling. Wind Waker is. You don't go to the Temple of Time, you go to Hyrule High Castle. Castle. I thought. There was that whole thing where the Temple of Time was somewhere. But... Well, I mean, like, this is the thing, I mean, right? it's still there. It's just flooded. <laughs> True. Yeah, I guess. I'll give you that. Yeah. Still, the timeline's weird. Yeah. It just makes me want to play the games, though. Yeah, I do kind of know. want to know what happens. Wouldn't be too hard to get them on an emulator. No, I'm just not a fan of them. Fair, fair. Like, the old games are really bad. I mean, I'd quite like to play Ocarina and Majora's Mask. They're both from 3DS. Yeah, but like on an actual bigger screen, because, yeah, fuck that. Uh, Majora's might be on Switch. I'll have to have a look. Cool. Alright, uh, do you want to just leave it there then? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get food. Cool. I will hit the stop. No hesitation.